Hello. Today I am going to share with you the secret of my students getting 90 plus close to 100 percent marks in their test. How is it possible? Well, you will see from the very first question which is just before you. So this is for the advanced function students uh, who take up MCRU, MCR4U a course in Ontario. Now the question is very straightforward and you can't have simpler than this problem in the test paper. It says write down domain and range from mapping diagram and the mapping diagram is right before you. Now you need to write down domain and range for this function. Now while it's so simple you can take time write it down and then go ahead with the video. Surprisingly I have seen so many times students making mistakes and therefore it's my responsibility to show you places where you can make mistakes which can easily be avoided okay so this is a knowledge question and here you should not be losing any marks now what do you think is the domain for this relation is it a relation or a function it is of course a relation but is it a function or not that is also a question to be answered here well most of the students will write this part as a domain because they are so used to writing first half as the domain and the next half as the range they don't really see at the arrows do you see the arrows Re arrows are pointing from here to there so the relation actually is from here to there this happens to be the independent variable set of domain and this happens to be their corresponding values and set of range so my dear students when you start your test you need to read every problem very carefully and see observe and then answer don't be in a rush so let's get back to the answer now I think you understand is it a function or not so now you know the arrows are pointing from here to there therefore this is part of domain and everything here is one right to one to one right that's perfect so it is a function right you don't see from here it is not that 2 is linked with S and R but 2 is the part of range not domain okay so it is of course a function okay now yes so the domain here is let's say domain is so you can list all these things in the domain In the ranges two three four and five don't include one okay one is not associated with anything in the domain side correct so if you have to write set right can you write the function now you say it's a function so can you write the set so the function here will be written like this in the set form will be written s corresponds to 2 right r corresponds to 5 t corresponds to 3 o corresponds to 4 and u corresponds to 2 so that forms your function okay so this is how this question should be answered so and it is a function right it is a function right why is it a function because every element in the domain has only one is uniquely associated with an element in the range correct so you have to give that as your answer to get full marks for this question okay I so I 
think you have got a good start. So be very patient, read the problems carefully, see them properly and then answer, right? Only then you can get 90 plus and uh, get admission in the university of your choice. Okay, so let's move on to next question from here now. Thank you.